Well, Brett, uh, you know, to, to go out there and, and beat a Pac-12 team at the end of the season in a bowl game, what would this mean to you? It meant a lot. You know, uh, anytime we get on national stage, like Coach said, uh, you know, gets to play a Power Five opponent, we want to, you know, obviously show the uh, nation what Boise State football is all about. So, um, you know, it's huge, huge win, and uh, I think it was a, a big team win for us. It was, uh, you know, as good a start almost as you could have hoped for, and then things went crazy haywire that last minute of the first half. So yeah. take me through those two plays. What, what kind of happened there? Uh, I mean, the first one, I can't I can't really tell you what happened. I don't have to go back and look at it on film. But the second one was just a bad decision. Um, you know, for us to be even in that situation, you know, with, with 30 seconds left and, you know, we'll get a big play down there. Um, it was a weird situation. I mean, it was like really up and down within a minute there. but. You know, I thought we did a good job of, uh, you know, kind of letting that, you know, get past us and came out in the second half and scored on the first drive. So. I was going to say, you regrouped at halftime and, and did that to start the second half. How important was that drive to come out and kind of get that momentum back and not let it linger? It was huge. Um, you know, we talked about it at halftime. I mean, I was pretty frustrated. I think it, our whole, whole line was pretty frustrated, you know, because I think we could have, well, we didn't have any timeouts. So um, that was kind of the situation there. I don't think we could have ran it. But, um, you know, it was, it was nice, you know, they were all picking me up, um, you know, and I was like, we're going to go out and play four quarters, we're a second half team, and, uh, you know, came out and had a good drive to start the second half. And you struggled for a while there in the second half, and then, you, you know, that clinching drive, you hit, uh, I think, CT on a third down play, and then Cedric down the sideline. Uh, yeah. Those two plays, what did you see there? Uh, well, in the CT one, um, you know, I was trying to come to our check down, and, you know, I had to step up in the pocket a little bit, and was... Uh, you know, thankfully able to find him, you know, just kind of sitting there in the middle and then on Seds and I mean, we just got a one-on-one -on -one and just had to put it up there for him to go get it. What uh, what has Sed meant to this team and, and this offense? I know guys have talked about kind of speech he made at the beginning of the year and, and obviously he's out there fighting through two ankle injuries and guys 220 yards and <laughs> making big plays. Yeah, no, he's meant a lot to this team, this program. Um, you know, it's not too often you get uh, you know, a JUCO guy that comes in and makes a big, a big of an impact in two years as he has, and I think that's a credit to, you know, his leadership. You know, you can talk about his football abilities all day, but, um, you know, I think what really makes him special is what type of guy he is and how he is off the field. And, you know, he's one of my best friends and my roommate, so I'm going to miss him a lot. You didn't have Jake. You know, Alex was limited, obviously. You know, he's fighting through that. You didn't have Tyler Horton on defense. I mean, you're, you're allowed, you know, some, some key playmakers on top. What does this say about your team that you know against a team like Oregon, you guys were still able to find a way? Yeah, I mean, I don't you really think uh, you know any of us were worried about that. You know, it's always a kind of a next man up mentality right here, and uh, you know this guy right here ran his butt off tonight, and um, you know I think we could have given like Coach Harsh was saying, we could have given the ball a lot more too, and uh, it was awesome to see that and uh, see you know us finish on uh, you know power on third and one on the goal line to finish the year was. Uh, it's pretty fitting, you know. That's a that's a, a big boy play right there. You got to get in the end zone. Everybody's stacked up on the line. Everybody knows what's coming, and we got in. Ryan, Ryan, how did you think that your level of physicality and what you guys were able to bring today compared to what Oregon brought out on the field? I think we stepped up big, especially with our O line. Uh, they were able to bring the physicality. I think we had some moments where it wasn't as strong, and. Uh, we got down a little bit, but you know we were we were able to pick it up when it mattered and uh, put put together put together some good drives. So then you know Brett throwing it down to to Sed and then coming up big, put really put us in some good position. Ryan, you got to clinch the Mountain West Championship. You got to clinch the the, the bowl game, getting in the end zone. What's that mean to you to finish your career like uh, that? You know, it really means the world to me being able to finish it this way with, with my brothers, my teammates. Um, it's it's real fitting for me uh, to be able to to come in here and, and work and finish it this way. I, I really appreciate it and got to hand it all over to my teammates. Brett, you guys came out, you know, offensive, defensive, very sharp and, and um, looked ready to go. Hurst mentioned that how focused everybody's been the last couple of weeks. What, what have those last couple of weeks been like as a team? Yeah, they've been great. Um, you know, I thought our practices were really good all week. Uh, you know, we've done a great job, I think, you know, handling the off the field stuff and the distractions here as well. So. That was one thing we talked about all week. We got to come out and we got to start fast, and um, we did that. Um, you know, we had the turnover there, and, but our defense got us the ball right back. So, you know, that's one. They played unbelievable tonight. They're getting us the ball back all day. 
Uh, I think we even have, yeah, we did have a touchdown on defense too. So um, when they're playing like that, it definitely helps us. You mentioned, uh, you know, just just you look at this group going going forward into next year. We talked so much about springboarding you guys, but with a young team and you know a lot of guys coming back and just kind of the, the excitement going into next season, built you know starting with a win like this. What does this win mean moving forward? Um, it means a lot. Uh, you know, like you said, we do have a pretty young team, especially on defense. We're gonna, I think, have everybody coming back, hopefully. Um, and uh, you know, we'll. Uh, you know, I'll take this win into the off season. It's definitely going to feel a lot better than uh, the loss we had last year. But you know, I think we still got a lot of work to do. You know, we had three losses this year, and um, you know, we want to we want to put ourselves into a position every single year to be playing for that um, New Year's Six Bowl. So that's going to be uh, probably you know, obviously the Mount West is our main focus. But um, you know, I think we want to take it to the next level now. This gets Boise State back to being a, a top 25 program, you know, end of the season, the top 25, first time in a while. Right. What, what, do you guys pay attention to that at the end of the season? Does that matter to you to kind of get Boise State back into that sort of prominence role? Well, I think it shows that, you you know, you finished your year strong um, if you're in the top 25 at the end of the year. So um, that's definitely something that's important to us. And, uh, you know, it means a lot. But, uh, you know, now really just we got to restart. You know, we get back on January 7th. It's going to be all work again. And, you know, we're going to have new faces. This is not going to be the same team anymore. You know, we're going to miss our seniors like crazy. The senior class has been unbelievable. But, um, you know, moving forward now, uh, you know, I kind of got to step up and, um, you know, be a, be a senior leader. And then everybody else, you know, that's moving up into, a, you know, uh, going to be a senior next year, upperclassman, uh, you know, has got to help up and uh, or step up and help some of the young guys. Thanks.